Oh man, first thing in the morning, I wake up, and what do I see? A Pokemon Direct. A Pokemon Direct, first thing in the morning. Don't even give me time to get up and really get ready for the day. I have to immediately come to my computer and get to work. Thank you so very much. I need G Fuel. That's, that's what we're doing down here. I, I need G Fuel. Black Ellen Blackberry. Here we go. Ah, yes, folks, that is true. First thing in the morning, this morning on, what is the day? January 7th, I got up, got on Twitter, boom, Pokemon Direct is coming on the 9th of January, and it was really a shock. This was not the Direct I figured we were going to be getting soon. I figured it would be an Animal Crossing Direct or something like that, but we're getting a Pokemon Direct, and I'm not upset about it because I've been playing so much Pokemon lately, not only on the channel, but also on Twitch and stuff and doing just tons of Pokemon stuff. I love Pokemon, so this is very, very exciting for me, and i Today, we're just going to talk about what I think is actually going to come out of this Direct. Here's the actual tweet from Nintendo of America saying that we are getting the Nintendo Direct for Pokemon on the 9th. And this is just super exciting. 20 minutes of new Pokemon content. So that's a lot of stuff to cover. That's a lot of time. So we're going to talk about everything I think could potentially come out of this Nintendo Direct. Okay, so the first thing that I predict we are going to hear about in regards to Pokemon at this Nintendo Direct is we're finally going to get concrete release dates for Pokemon Home as well as Pokemon Sleep. Both of these things have been announced for a very long time and everybody's just kind of been waiting for them and I think we're finally going to have solid release dates for when these apps are going to drop and I think that's a very good thing and it's something that a lot of people are looking forward to especially in the world of Pokemon Home. The big thing that I want to see personally is more Dynamax events. I want them to announce and kind of give us a layout of events that are coming. Like say we get one event a month. I want them to kind of lay out and give us an idea of what we're getting each month rather than just kind of waiting until they finally make a post about it. I'd love to know like, oh, we're getting GMAX toxicity this month. And oh, we're gonna get the starters with hidden abilities this month. Like that would be so cool to just have an idea of what's coming in the future. And also with the addition of Pokemon Home, they could implement as like sort of a celebration of Pokemon Home's release raid battles with different starter Pokemon from previous generations or Pokemon that are able to be transferred over from Pokemon Home into uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. They could do some raid battles featuring these new Pokemon that weren't previously in the game. So there's a lot of options they have available right now in regards to the Dynamaxing events in the Max Raid battles. And then there's always the idea of potential DLC and Honestly, I'm not sure what they would do with DLC. I'm really not entirely sure what they could <laughs> do different aside from add new Pokemon to the game. And at that point, is it really DLC or is it just bringing back old models and then updating them a little bit? I'm not, I truthfully do not believe that we are going to get anything dramatic in terms of DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield. I really think that at most we are going to get some additional pokemon added to the pokedex but that is the extent of I, what i believe we're going to get i don't foresee us getting any new zones or anything or any like any new locations at all i don't predict that happening maybe like a, a hidden cave or something with an additional legendary or two that might be something that happens but i cannot see them adding any large-scale content into this game and then finally, the big one, everybody always wants to talk about what the next game is going to be, even though this game has only been out for two months. It's only been out for two months, okay? Enjoy this game. This game is new still. <laughs> but the new game is definitely on people's minds, regardless of that fact. And what I believe is that we might get just a teaser, just a, a sliver of a teaser during this Nintendo Direct of what the new game is going to be. Now, there's a lot of speculation as to what the new game is going to be. In my thoughts, I think it would be very silly for them to release another new Pokemon game this year. I A mainline, at least. I could understand them releasing another Let's Go game, honestly. I don't know why they would release another mainline Pokemon game this year. Especially with all the backlash they got from Pokemon Sword and Shield. There's a lot of people that are still upset about a lot of things in regards to like the national decks and certain aspects of the game. So there's a lot of things that they could fix and improve on 
in Pokemon Sword and Shield that they should take the two-year cycle for. Rather than release a new mainline game, take two years and fix all these problems and make the greatest Pokemon game the Switch will ever see. That's my theory, is that they will take an extra year, we'll get like a let's go or something this year. However, I could be totally wrong, this could be totally off base, and we could see, I doubt we'll see a Sword and Shield 2, but it's possible that we see Sword and Shield 2 release, or potentially Diamond and Pro remakes. Those are the next games on the list for remakes, and as much as I would love to see a Diamond and Pro remake, I would really like to see them take an extra year to do it. I want them to do the two-year cycle if they're going to re-release Diamond and Pearl. And the reason I say that is I'm a big Pokemon Diamond and Pearl fan. I started playing Pokemon with Diamond and Pearl on my DS, and it's one of my favorite games ever in Pokemon. Right next to Sword and Shield, which is my current favorite, Diamond and Pearl and Platinum are right underneath, and then Heart Gold, Soul, Silver. And I really want them to get this right. I really, really do. So I would love, I, I'm totally cool with another Let's Go game. As much crap as Let's Go got, I had a fun time with it. It's not a game that I'm going to put 200 plus hours into like I have with Pokemon Sword and Shield, but I will sit and enjoy my time playing a Pokemon Let's Go game. So that is what I would like to see out of the Nintendo Direct rather than us getting a brand new Pokemon mainline game this year. Just give us another Let's Go game. That's fine by me. And I know a lot of people are going to dislike that. And if you'd rather see a new mainline game, let me know in the comments below. Let me know exactly what you want to see in terms of the next Pokemon game in the comments below. I'm always interested in hearing what people have to say. But personally, for me, I would rather them take that extra year and really get some of these bugs fixed. Like, for example, the freaking uh, textures. Let's up the textures a little bit. Let's put a lot more work into it and make this a really, really good game. But yeah, that pretty much covers everything I think we're going to get from this Pokemon Nintendo Direct. I don't think we're going to get any big DLC. I think we're going to get a little teaser of what is going to come for a new Pokemon game this year. On top of that, I think that we're going to get some Dynamax stuff, some new Max Raid Battle information. I would love to know what's coming to the Max Raid Battles. That's that's so much fun to me. I love the Max Raid events, so I'm really hoping we get some news on that. And then, obviously, Pokemon Home, Pokemon Sleep. So that's all very cool, and I hope we get a ton of stuff and everybody is just excited as all hell after this Nintendo Direct. I hope everyone is just pleased and just ready to play some more Pokemon after this because I am totally loving these new games and I want as many people to be playing these new games as possible because they are so fun. So that is all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching. If you found this video entertaining and you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Be sure to join the channel Discord. We have tons of people joining the Discord now playing Pokemon and doing stuff like that. So be sure to check out the channel Discord. On top of that, I am streaming Pokemon fairly regularly over on Twitch and doing about six hour streams every night. I usually start about 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be sure to check me out on Twitch if you're interested in watching any Pokemon content. Do shiny hunts, max raid battles, uh, competitive battles, everything. And I'm actually taking stream highlights and clipping them together and putting them up on the channel. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So be sure to check me out there if you want to catch all of that live. All my other social media should be on screen here at this point. So be sure to check me out there if you're interested in keeping up with the channel. But like I said, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.